Welcome to the continuation of our day at DCA. First time here, this is the nighttime video because during the day we rode in Credit Coaster, which kind of, I don't know, it kind of hurt us a little bit, so we had to stop and take a nap. But anyways, we're really excited to see what it's like at night. All right, so next up on our trip is a little bit of nighttime action here at DCA. I think we're gonna head out first to Cars Land, maybe do a little Luigi's. We heard it was really good to come out here at night because nighttime the lights all come on and it looks really awesome. And oh yeah, look there, there's Avengers Campus. We'll probably go down there in a little bit. But for now, let's hit up Cars Land. And this Lu Luigi's ride here is called Rollican Roadsters featuring our cousins from Carsoli. This seems like a really fun ride. It's, got, it's one of those trackless rides where you got all the cars on the, uh, the thing at the same time. And it's kind of crazy because they look like they would run into each other, but they're not going to. But there's always an element of, is it going to or not? I, uh, this is gonna be fun. It's like they're dancing. Uh, they're gonna play some fun songs and then we're gonna be in the cars and we're gonna do a little dance. All right, it's our turn. JR is gonna lead the way to our car. He's got his eyes set on this yellow one in the back. Don't know if we're gonna make it or not. Oh yeah, we got, this is our car right here. All right. All right, you got it, got it. Oh, and there's Jessica way over there. This is what it looks like inside of here. We're gonna do this dance with all these other cars around us. Are we, oh, we're in the center, JR. Look, we're one of the center cars. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Does it feel like we're gonna hit any of the other ones? Yeah, I feel like we're like smack right now. Yeah, oh, we're in the center. Oh, we're oh, look, we're dancing with this one. Wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway a little bit. Oh, yeah. We're doing the, what do you call it? The conga? Conga, yeah. Oh, what's happening now? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Woo! All right. Oh. And that's the end. Ooh. Oh, look, there he goes. There goes Tomator. He's leaving. Weird. We heard that nighttime was really cool for Cars Land. Uh, and it's not disappointing. You got all these like cones here. <laughs> this is like the little cone area where you can get some snacks. You get your cone queso, your cone concoctions, and your popcorn. A lightning, light, lightning, lightning McQueen start, decided to show up. But yeah, it is really cool looking at night here. All the neon. What is this? Oh yeah, the Cozy Cone Motel. And it's got all these cones back here that you stay in just like in the movie. But yeah, all the neon and everything around here is super cool. You got Flo's V8 Cafe over there with all the, uh, that is a lot of neon over there. Yeah, we'll take a look, uh, or actually we'll take a little walk through. Looks really neat. You got Luigi's uh, Casa Della Tires, the Rollick and Roadsters. We just rode that, which is really fun. That's Radiator Springs Racers, which is a really cool ride. And you got Ramones here, House of Body Art, where you can get some sweet stuff. The traffic light here, every third blink is indeed longer. That's one, that's two, wait for it, that's three. Oh yeah, that one was longer. And then if you walk over to the side here, there's like a little observation area where it tells you all about what you're looking at very similar to like a national park type of thing where you got ornament valley and it tells you all the historic or not historic but you know the the points of interest and look at this view up here this thing's kind of incredible or listen closely there may be some racers racing around oh Whoa. that was cool And from Cars Land to San Francisco, San Francisco, yeah. I don't know why that's kind of hard to say sometimes. So this should be pretty neat too. 
because it's like San Francisco mixed with Tokyo, San Francisco from the movie Big Hero 6. A lot of activity in here. It's a pretty busy place, lots of places to eat and drink. Uh, and they got some neat signs and stuff everywhere as well. So, anywho, let's take a walk through here. That racket right there is uh, the Grizzly River Run. And we're just gonna walk down this Grizzly River Peak Pass. Boy, that is that is rackety. Outside of that, it's a pretty peaceful little walk here. Grizzly Peak Recreation Area. It's a pretty neat waterfall up. Oh, you can hear people having fun on the actual Grizzly Peak ride. Look that wolf up there. Anyways, there's a waterfall up here that looks really cool. It's pretty wild, raging rapids. People brave in the rapids there. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, that is loud. Water is loud. Oh, there's a there's a drop over here. That's, oh, there they go. Yeah, there's a drop over here. We can watch them come down it. Let's see here. Oh, there they go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fun. The skyline is different here. Carthay Circle Tower thing. I mean, we have one of those. I don't know. It's just different here, especially with uh, Guardian's Tower peeking behind it there. But yeah. I like it here, but it also makes me appreciate uh, what we have. Oh, one thing we don't have though, are these neat red trolleys that you can actually ride. Yeah, oh, these people are about to take off, I think, maybe. Oh yeah, look, there they go. Off it goes. Now it's time to head into Avengers Campus at night. See all these cool lights and everything. Oh, you got this thing on the ground here that looked like Tony Stark's heart thing. Look at this, do you feel it? Whoa. Oh, and then, oh look, there's Spider-Man way over there. Just walking around. This is one thing that's kind of neat about this, this place is, <laughs> wow. So anyways, yeah, characters just kind of walk around like it's normal, but I guess maybe it is here, maybe yeah, I guess it's normal. But yeah, this is pretty neat. Yeah, just, just take in the ambiance. Here's a neat little walkthrough area. It's got this like orb thing at the end there, doing something. Anyways, yeah, got this orb thing here. This is like the Doctor Strange area. So this must be some sort of time something or other. Listen. Speaking of characters, there's Loki.
That's how they get the pretzels so big. Hmm. Now over here at uh, Old Pim Kitchen, Jessica got a, a chicken wing. Yeah, not so little buffalo wing. That thing is kind of ginormous. I don't even know how to put scale to it, but it's cute. That's pretty impressive. This chocolate smash cake, I don't think it's uh, anything scientific or anything, it just looks good. Oh, it's bigger than buffalo. Ah. It's pretty big, I know that much. All right, so we got a little snack from Pim Kitchen, and uh, I think we're gonna head out of here for the night. Uh, it was really cool walking through here, seeing everything at night, all the lights and everything. Oh yeah, yeah look at that one more time, because that's pretty, pretty neat looking. That's a very neat looking building. But anyways, I guess one more thing we can do is we can walk through the Hollywood Studios area that looks a lot like MGM Studios back in the day with all the false buildings and the set designs and whatnot. Yeah, it just looks cool. I mean, look at that Hyperion Theater. Is that a real theater? I think it might be. I don't really know. We'll walk through here. More neon lights and bulbs, whatnot. And just kind of enjoy the ambiance. It was a lovely night uh, walking through uh, DCA. Listen to me, I'm saying like DCA like I'm a local or something, but Disney's California Adventure. Seeing it at night for the first time was really, really cool. Disney does a really good job at theming and lighting things at night and making it look extra cool. Of course, it always looks cool in the more, or, you know, in the daytime, but at night is when it really comes alive because they can control the lighting. And I don't, it's just neat. I don't know, I like it, it's cool. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If so, let us know, you know. We like to know those things. We definitely enjoyed it, so hopefully you did too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, see ya.